Hello everyone, I'm Yu Shen, a PhD student from Peking University. In cooperation with Tencent, we are glad to share our latest work, Pasca, a graph neural architecture search system under the scalable paradigm. The presentation consists of four parts, the motivation, the method, the experiment, and the conclusion. Now first, we will start with the motivation. In recent years, we have witnessed the success of applying graph neural networks into different real world applications, like the social influence prediction and the recommendation system. Previous study attributes this success to the use of neighborhood expansion in graph neural networks. In short, graph neural networks aggregate the features of each node with its neighbors, and thus they're able to capture more information than traditional MLP. Concretely, Traditional graph neural network designs follow a specific pattern, which we refer to as the neural message passing paradigm. The paradigm iteratively aggregates the neighborhood information and then updates the message via neural networks. This paradigm works well on small data sets, but for large data sets, we have to partition the graphs and store them on different machines. While the neighbors may be stored on different machines, Neighborhood expansion requires to fetch information from other machines. This leads to high communication costs, as aggregation is required for each batch of nodes during training. Despite the high communication costs, most existing graph neural network systems adopt the neural message passing paradigm, such as DGL and PYG. However, there are two challenges when applying the existing systems to web scale graphs. First, for each given task, the system requires the users to write code to build a network and define the training process. While designing a task-specific graph neural network requires expert knowledge, the high barrier restricts the extensive use of graph neural networks in the web community. Besides, the neural message passing paradigm in existing systems also leads to high training and inference time, which we refer to as the scalability issue in web scale scenarios. In the following figures, we demonstrate the scalability issue in neural message passing paradigm. We take graph sage as a representative of the paradigm and train it on Reddit with the help of this DGL in distributed settings. By fixing the total batch size, we observe that the speed up decreases when using more workers and the communication dominates the training process. To reduce the communication cost and improve scalability, an intuitive idea comes to us that, can we propose a novel graph neural network system to support simple and scalable graph learning for large graphs? The answer is yes. Then we will introduce our method. We first give a simple overview of our proposed system Pasca. It only requires two inputs. The first one is a graph data set. And the second one is some objectives. Given the two inputs, Pasca automatically searches for promising designs over its inner design space. And then it outputs scalable networks trained on the input graph that tackle the trade off between the objectives well. Note that Pasca is an end to end system. In other words, it does not require interactions to define an architecture or define a training process. And thus, it reduces the threshold for beginners to use graph neural networks in different web-based applications. As mentioned previously, the second challenge of the existing systems is the scalability issue. To tackle this issue, we introduce two parts of our method in detail. The first part is SGAP, an abstraction to define scalable training process. The traditional iterative process requires to fetch neighborhood information from other machines during training, and the information has to be fetched during each epoch. Instead, our scalable process places the aggregating stages before and after the training stage, and it needs to fetch information only twice in the pre-processing and the post-processing stages. In this way, the SGAP architectures reduce the communication costs caused by neighborhood expansion during training, and thus enjoy higher scalability in distributed scenarios. Let's first take a look at the scalable paradigm. 
it is our proposed abstraction to define a scalable graph neural network training process. The scalable design includes three independent stages, pre-processing, training, and post-processing. We aggregate all required neighborhood information in the pre-processing and the post-processing stages. The difference, that, the difference is that pre-processing aggregates the features while post-processing aggregates soft predictions. Accordingly, we use the abstraction graph aggregator to describe the two stages. It takes the messages of neighbors as inputs and outputs an aggregated message. We also give an example of how the aggregator works. By applying the graph aggregator to node A, it can aggregate the features from its neighbors B, C, and D. We refer to this message as the first step message. When we apply the graph aggregator on node A again, it can aggregate the first message from B, C, and D. And this message is called the second step message. While the first step message of node C involves the information of node E and F, the second step message of node A involves the information of all the nodes in the input graph. Generally, by applying the graph aggregator t times, we can aggregate the information of neighbors that are t steps away. Under this abstraction, we can implement the pre-processing and post-processing stages using the approaches in the previous work. For example, we can use the augmented normalized adjacency or personalized page rank to cope with different scenarios. Then the training stage. While the pre-processing stage has already aggregated all the neighborhood information, the training stage only needs to combine the messages from that stage and updates the combined message using the trainable network. We use two abstractions, the massive aggregator and massive updater to describe this stage. Assume that we have generated case that messages for each node using the graph aggregator. The message aggregator aims to combine those key messages into a single one. The message updater is the nonlinear operations to update messages, and they're implemented as trainable dense layers. Like the graph aggregator, we also provide two types of message aggregators. The first one is quite straightforward. For each node, we can simply use the average or maximal outputs of the messages from the pre-processing stage. However, through deeper analysis, we find that treating all nodes as the same may not be the best solution. We refer to more details to this observation in our paper. Therefore, we also design an adaptive aggregator that uses a gating mechanism to compute the weights for each message. Based on SGAP, the second part of method is PASCA the auto search system to search for designs that tackles the trade-off between multiple objectives well. PASCA includes two main components, an automatic search engine and a distributed evaluation engine. The interaction between each component is quite simple. During each iteration, the search engine suggests an instance from the design space, and then the evaluation engine evaluates the instance and returns the evaluation results. In the following, we will introduce both components in detail. The first component of PASCA is the design space for scalable network designs, along with a multi-objective search engine. The search engine aims to search for instances under the SGAP paradigm that tackle the trade-off between different objectives well. The space refers to different choices of the inner design in three SGAP stages. We take the training stage as an example. To build a complete architecture, we have to decide which message aggregator and how many dense layers to use. Concretely, the design space is proposed based on the implementation mentioned previously. There are six parameters in total, and each stage contains two parameters. Interestingly, we find that our space also contains a recent scalable architecture design. For example, if we set the pre-processing graph aggregator as the augmented normalized adjacency and the message aggregator as none, the instance is exactly the SGC. To perform exploration over the design space, the suggestion server in the search engine implements a multi-objective optimization algorithm based on a Bayesian optimization. 
During each iteration, the suggestion server models the relationship between observed instances and their objective values. Then it suggests the instance that is expected to tackle the trade-off well. Finally, it updates its history with the observed performance returned from the evaluation engine. The second component of Pascal is the evaluation engine. It is responsible for evaluating the instance in a distributed manner. For the pre-processing and post-processing stages, the graph data aggregator will partition the graphs into several parts and store them on different machines. For each node, when the computation of the I staff messages are complete, the workers will fetch the neighborhood messages and compute the message of the next step. For the training stage, each worker samples a batch of data from a single machine, and the neural architecture trainer implements a parameter server so that the gradients can be updated asynchronously. After introducing the method, let's take a look at the performance of the proposed SGAP and Pascal system. We first introduce the experimental settings. Our experiments include datasets of different size, including 10 public datasets and an industrial dataset from Tencent. The number of nodes ranges from 2,000 to 2.4 million. In the following, we will li list three insights we want to investigate. First, SGAP is more scalable than other paradigms. Then, the search results of Pascal can tackle the trade-off between different objectives well. And finally, the search results achieve higher predictive performance. First, we present scalability analysis on two large datasets. We compare two examples from different paradigms, SGAP and neural message parsing paradigm. For SGAP, we convert the architecture APPMP into the SGAP paradigm and train it with the Pascal evaluation engine. For neural message parsing paradigm, we train graph stage with this DGL. By fixing the total batch size under distributed scenarios, we find Pascal APPMP achieves a, linear, a near linear speed up when using more workers and is closer to the ideal speed up. Then we show how Pascal tackles with the trade off between predicted performance and resource consumptions. In the left figure, we plot the parallel front of instances found on the dataset Cora. The parallel front refers to the search instances from the design space that tackle the trade-off between predictive performance and inference time well. We pick three representatives and name them as Pascal V1 to Pascal V3. The representatives highlight different objectives. For example, Pascal V3 achieves lower predictive error but requires longer inference time than Pascal V2. Interestingly, our search results also include GBP, a recent SOTA scalable design. In addition, we also evaluate those representatives on industrial datasets. In the figure, we find that the search results also tackle the trade-off between the predict performance and the training time well. For example, the two representatives, Pascal V2 and V3, achieve better accuracy than a state-of-the-art JKNet and require significantly short training time. Finally, to show the predicted performance of the search results, we compare the representatives with state-of-the-art designs on eight datasets. Our first observation is that SJAP architectures achieve competitive results compared with other unscalable paradigms. In addition, among competitive baselines, the search representative Pascal V3 achieves the best test results across different datasets. In the last part, we will conclude our paper. In our paper, we present Pascal a novel auto search system to construct and explore scalable graph neural networks rather than studying individual designs. The representative architectures from Pascal outperform state-of-the-art graph neural networks in terms of performance, efficiency, and scalability. And we hope Pascal can help researchers explore design space for scalable networks and understand different design choices. The code is now available at the following link. That's all for this presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you, indeed. Thank you, you. Uh, any questions from the audience? All right, so uh, I kind of have, have a, a question. I don't know if it's more like a curiosity, I guess. Uh, so if I understand correctly, you are able to 
basically with Pasca to reduce the uh, communication cost between the, um, uh, the workers, which is actually the main bottleneck when it comes to you know, uh, training large scale uh, graph neural networks, right? So I want, was wondering whether you managed to get any insight from what is the benefit, what is the, let's say the gain that you get using, using uh, your method in terms actually of the communication, uh, uh, let's say uh, speed up, so, so to speak, or the reduction in terms of the, uh, of this bottleneck, so to speak. So uh, the speed up that you get, is, is it most, mostly due to the communication uh, cost that you reduced or, I mean, okay. Yes, the communication is because the communication we reduce uh, for unscalable paradigms, they need to communicate, they need to fetch the neighborhood information during training. Yes. And it costs maybe, it may be communicate, uh, this, uh, the communication times may be equals to the number of training epochs. But in our right. paradigm, they need to fetch information only twice before and after training. Okay. Okay. And this basically, you, you can impute the speed up that you get mostly to the, the fact that you reduce so sensitively the communication cost between the workers, right? Yes. Is that okay? Okay. I got it. Okay. Interesting. Really interesting. Um, 